Hey everyone, Ryan Fries here, and today I just wanted to make a, a quick video around Citrix's Rendezvous protocol. So this is a fairly new protocol, it really allows um, connections to bypass the Citrix Cloud Connector when you're using Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops, CVAD, Service. So this eliminates any unnecessary traffic hop, um, increases the scalability of, of your Cloud Connectors overall. And I'm sure many of you know, if you're watching this video and you're even looking up how to, how to configure Citrix's Rendezvous protocol, you're probably aware that, that the cloud connectors can natively support around a thousand or so concurrent connections. But if your organization is growing beyond that number, well, the, the cloud connector then becomes a bottleneck and you'd actually have to deploy additional cloud connectors in your environment. And the rendezvous protocol eliminates this need. It allows the VDAs to connect directly the gateway service, specifically the, the flow redirector of the gateway service, which bypasses the cloud connector in your resource location for HDX traffic once that session is established. So here are some of the, the steps of what we'll be covering today. So of course, what is a rendezvous protocol? So step one completed. Um, hopefully you all have understanding of the purpose of it. We're gonna enable the rendezvous protocol policy within Citrix Studio in a Citrix Cloud account. We're gonna configure the, the VDA policies and settings. So there's a few settings we have to configure on the VDA side via group policy, firewall, that kind of stuff. Um, so that'll be pretty straightforward and we'll walk through what that looks like. And then I'll show you how to confirm that your actual rendezvous is configured correctly when you actually launch a VDA session. So before we actually jump into the configuration, which by the way, if you're not interested in seeing the architecture, you can skip right to the configuration. I thought it'd be a good idea just to walk through what the steps would look like by leveraging the rendezvous protocol. You can view this on Citrix's website. They created this architecture guide. I, I did not, I took it right from their website. If you search Citrix Rendezvous Protocol, it's probably gonna be the first link that comes up. But again, I thought it would be good to, to walk through this. And let me switch to my laser pointer here. So let's take the, the path of a user when they're logging into a CVAD service. Of course, first thing they're gonna do, they're gonna to connect to their device and then they're gonna bring up the workspace URL, either from a browser or from their local client. They're gonna go ahead from there and enter their credentials, which is gonna go through the CVAD service. It's gonna go through the cloud connector, which can be, of course, on-premise in a public cloud of choice, you name it. And it's gonna validate those credentials with the local Active Directory. The workspace service will then enumerate all of the resources that the user can access. So whether that be virtual apps, virtual desktops, you name it. And it's also gonna prepare the VDA for any incoming session when a user is accessing any of those resources. The workspace then will send an ICA file over to the endpoint that contains an STA ticket, which was generated by Citrix Cloud, so the service over here. The endpoint will then connect to the gateway service, which provides the ticket to connect to the VDA and validates that ticket with the cloud connector. The Citrix gateway service from there sends a connection information to the cloud connector and the cloud connector determines whether or not, I don't mean to right click there, whether or not the, the connection is gonna be via rendezvous or if it's gonna be a traditional connection. The VDA will then establish a direct connection to the gateway service. So we'll see a direct connection between the two here. And if a direct connection between the VDA and the gateway service, if this is not possible, essentially what the VDA will do, it'll just, again, proxy that connection back through the cloud connector. But if it is possible, there's gonna be a direct connection between the VDA, the virtual app or the desktop, to the actual gateway service. The VDA will also verify its license 
through the Citrix app and desktop service. So it's still gonna go through the cloud connector back out to the service. So you can see this is still gonna be an important connection. It's just the ICO traffic that's going direct. And the virtual app and desktop service also is gonna send any session policies to the VDA still through the cloud connector. So all of these policies are, are still gonna be applied by using Rendezvous. So again, this is all about bypassing the Citrix cloud connector. And something important to know is currently the Rendezvous protocol doesn't support any sort of proxies. So if you're planning on using any type of proxy in your environment today, continue to use the cloud connector for that, the actual ICO traffic. So let's go ahead, let's uh, jump over to the demo piece. All right, so let's quickly walk through the configuration of setting up the Rendezvous protocol. Um, side note, I should, I should have mentioned this earlier, but you have to be running the, the LTSR version or newer of the VDA. So at least LTSR 1912 in order for Rendezvous to work. So that will be the very first step you need to check if you don't have a up-to-date VDA. Um, but let's go to, um, if you haven't followed already, let's go into your Citrix Cloud portal, go to virtual apps and desktop service, as well as go to manage. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna configure the Rendezvous protocol in Studio. And hopefully uh, Studio and, and Citrix Cloud is behaving today and it doesn't take a while to, to launch the management console. Oh, wasn't too bad. So jump down to policies. You can already see I have a rendezvous policy created. So I'll show you what I did there. But if you don't have a policy, of course, you can just create a new policy. Um, so I'll edit this one I already have set up so you can see exactly what I applied. And what you want to do here, go to uh, rendezvous. Don't go next. There you go. So the default is prohibited. Switch it to allowed. Pretty simple apply it to the delivery group you you want this to apply to so the VDAs that will be using rendezvous and then from there you want to jump over to your DC your domain controller because we're going to set up some group policies if you don't want to set up a group policy object you can apply local policies on your VDA for testing purposes and the policies are going to be the same that apply I mean you could actually see them here but for demo sakes, let's let's walk through it. So a few things we're going to do here. Um, first thing to note, there are, yeah, I should have probably left that open. There are some firewall rules. You want to whitelist a couple URLs. Um, just Google search Citrix Rendezvous Protocol, and the Citrix article will tell you what URLs you need to whitelist. Um, from a policy perspective, Let's go down to computer config, policies, admin templates, and network. And we're gonna go to DNS client first, and then register pointer records. We wanna change that from do not register to register. Once you do that, go down to SSL configuration settings, and you need to enable the SSL Cypher Suite, and you need to include the Cypher Suite that Citrix provided. I'll include this in the, the, the description of today's video, just so it's easier for you all to access. A um, couple of notes here, make sure it's in the correct format. Make sure there's no additional characters, like an extra space at the end. And all the different ciphers need to be um, separated by a single comma. If you have multiple commas, it's just not gonna work. So just make sure your formatting is correct. Once you do that, um, those are the only two policies we have to configure. Just apply that to the group or the, the OU that your, your VDAs live in. So they get those policy and of course do a reboot on those devices or a GP update just to make sure those are applied. And that's, that's basically it from a configuration standpoint, not too challenging. Um, if you want to test it to see if it's actually working, you can actually go to uh, let's do here. There we go. You can actually go to your cloud URL, your workspace URL, go to desktops, um, launch your desktop. I actually have mine already open. Uh, close that. And then open up a command prompt and type in Citrix session, I believe. 
Uh, it might be service. Let's try this. Citrix session exe dash v. There we go. So if the local address is a 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 followed some, by some type of port, you're using the gateway service for rendezvous. If it's going to your local IP, for me, 192.168.0. whatever, um, it's not using rendezvous. So that's how you can verify that this is working. And that, that's basically it, you guys. It's a pretty straightforward protocol to set up. I thought it'd be, if any of you are like me, I thought it'd be easier to follow a video rather than uh, Citrix's documentation on their, their website. And if you do have any questions, definitely let me know right in the comment section. Again, I'll, I'll provide links in the description. And if you like this video, I uh, really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Thanks everyone.